एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल फोर सी लर्निंग क्लासेस दिस इज अजोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट सेशन फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री सो ए बी वो ब्लड ग्रुपिंग सिस्टम इज व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग ए बी वो ब्लड ग्रुपिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द टर्म सच एस the inherent vehicle is the chromosome the factor which is responsible for each and every character is a gene and every gene has the two alternative forms name it to be the alleles the expression of a character externally is name it to be the phenotypes the expression of a character in terms of the genes is name it to be the genotype besides that we have discussed the the genetic incompatibility genetic incompatibility in the sense of incompatibility 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 in the sense of the inability the inability of two blood groups of different types of uh, different types different types existing existing together existing together is a uh, what we considered uh, the incompatibility genetic incompatibility i repeat genetic incompatibility in the sense the inability of two blood groups of different types existing together or surviving together they do not remain a normal form but else different blood groups when transfused it prone for clumping if the blood clumps it leads to the fatal where the transportation of nutrients is disturbed gases the first and foremost is the gases supply is hindered or is obstructed so blood clotting uh, or the agglutination takes place why because of the incompatibility and this lead to what is termed to be the agglutination 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 in the sense uh, clumping uh, clumping uh, is a water uh, we name it as clumping or else clotting why since uh, it is a uh, including the two different uh, blood group uh, transfusion and besides that we discussed uh, that every gene has two alternative forms which is alleles but there are certain conditions where certain genes have more than two alleles which is uh, considered to be the multiple alleles and uh, such condition is named to be the multiple allelism multiple allelism i repeat generally each gene is with the two alternate alternative forms we have seen for height the two alternative forms are alleles capital t small t these are the two alternative forms of the gene coding for the height which have two alternative capital t small t these are named to be the alleles but there are certain conditions where a gene may have more than two alleles that is the condition of presence of more than two alleles uh, refer to be condition uh, multiple allelism and uh, blood groups are blood groups are uh, the best example blood groups are uh, the best example for uh, the multiple allelism i repeat blood groups are the best uh, example for multiple allelism why for suppose mine uh, blood group is o mine blood group is o wo positive positive negative that also will discuss that is i have uh, the genotype i o i o or else it can be denoted like this so what do 
I have I have two alleles. This is the genotype. For suppose A is the blood group E is with the I A I A or uh, the I A and I recessive allele. So here these two are same, not to be considered a different one. It can be written as I I small I refers to what is called a recessive condition. And look at here for the B. B is the blood group with the IB IB or else IB I recessive allele. One dominant allele, one recessive allele. And look at here for AB. IA IB. So what do you come to know? You come to know this is a character. Blood grouping is a character. Normally every character has a the under the control of a gene which is with the two alleles but here a blood grouping is a character which is with the, the four phenotypes and uh, it is operated by generally the gene responsible for blood grouping is determined as i and the alleles are i a i b and i so three alleles are there now, do you clear with the, that it is a multiple allelism? Definitely. So, this is how it is the best example for multiple allelism. So, the blood grouping system in the year of 1900, Carl Landsteiner first described, first discovered, first reported about the ABO blood grouping system. A, comma, B, comma, O. In 1902, Castillo and Steen is a scientist uh, who reported, who discovered uh, the AB, a codominant uh, AB blood group. This is a story about uh, the discovery of the ABO grouping system. Bernstein, a scientist, uh, he identified uh, that the inheritance of the blood grouping is by three alleles that is none other than IA, IB and uh, I. These two are dominant over the I recessive and both are codominant with each other. So there are three alleles. Hence it is a multiple allelism. Each allele called IA is an allele which produces an antigen A. It produces antigen A. IB allele produces a antigen B. Antigen B. Whereas I do not produce any antigen. That's the reason why it is a recessive. So this is the reason why we find the A antigen and the B antigen in the ABO a, blood grouping system. So, I, A, I, B, I, O, or else it is a recessive one. These two are codominant and over the, they are uh, codominant with each other and dominant over I. So, antigen A is synthesized by I, A allele, I, B allele, antigen B and I, O is a recessive do not synthesize that's the reason why it is a recessive and these two are dominant over it and codominant which means uh, each allele uh, shows its expression this is how we have discussed uh, the yesterday all the topic now we'll go for the further description uh, where how the genotype phenotype and how we determined the a blood group a blood group is a blood group a blood group uh, is the one uh, which is with the uh, a antigen on its rbc a blood group is a uh, the blood group it's a phenotype a blood group is with the uh, rbc carries antigen a a blood group carries uh, a antigen on its rbc and it is with the B antibody in its blood plasma. 
B antibody in its blood plasma. Whereas we have already discussed that is in ABO blood grouping system a blood group is determined by the antigen that it is uh, possessed on its plasma membrane of RBC. So A blood group have A antigen on its uh, RBC plasma membrane and B antibody in its blood plasma. Next B is a blood group which is determined by B is a blood group which is determined by B antigen B antigen on its RBC and uh, A antibody in its uh, A antibody in its uh, plasma. So remind you one thing RBCs are present on the RBCs possess the antigen either A antigen or B antigen whereas plasma contain a antibody. While discussing the previously I told you that uh, the antibodies are present on the body fluids name it to be the blood plasma and the lymph plasma and those are what name it to be the humors. Antibodies uh, play role in a uh, immunity protection so that's what it is a uh, humoral immunity. Next AB is a phenotype it is a uh, with uh, a and uh, B antigen on its uh, RBC. A antigen and B antigen in its uh, RBC and no antibodies. Whereas the O blood group is uh, O blood group is with no antigen on its RBC. Whereas the A and uh, B antibodies in its uh, blood plasma. I repeat that. ABO blood grouping system can be described that there are four phenotypes A, B, AB and O. Next, the a blood group is determined by the antigen that it possesses on its plasma membrane RBC. A blood group RBC is with the A antigen and the B blood group is with the B antigen on its RBC. AB blood group is with uh, A antigen and B antigen on its RBC whereas the uh, O blood group does not have uh, the antigen on its RBC. Next uh, the A blood group on its blood plasma have B antibodies. Next the B blood group have uh, the A antibody in its blood plasma. AB blood group lacks uh, antibodies. There are no antibodies in its uh, blood plasma and the O blood group uh, do not have antigen on its RBC whereas uh, A and B antibodies in its blood plasma. We have already discussed that the a blood group do not have a similar uh, antigen and a similar antibodies. Why? Generally the similar antigen and uh, similar antibodies an antigen is a protein or else a nucleic acid. An antigen can be a protein or else a, it may be a polysaccharide. It can be a nucleic acid that stimulate the production of antibodies. So antigen A stimulate the production of antibodies. That's the reason why no blood group a blood group, B blood group do not have the same antibodies in its blood plasma but opposite. Similar antigen and antibody results in clumping that is agglutination which is the genetic incompatibility. Similar antigen, similar antibody will clump which is named to be the clumping means clotting which is agglutination that is uh, due to genetic incompatibility. By this we come to know a blood group is uh, determined by its antigen which is synthesized by IA, IB alleles. I is a gene determined. IA synthesizes the A antigen. IB synthesizes the B antigen. But IO or I recessive uh, do not synthesize any antigen. So two antigens are there. As against that the antibodies are produced. The antibodies that are produced 
which are named to be categorized as IgM type. Earlier we have seen that uh, IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG, IgM, IgM are none other than the antibody A and uh, antibody B or what comes under uh, antibody anti antibody A and uh, antibody B are what uh, considered to be the immunoglobulins M type M type now <clears throat> these are all uh, the blood grouping uh, how so A is a blood group phenotype with uh, A antigen in its RBC and B antibody B blood group is with the B antigen and A antibody. AB is with the AB antigen and no antibodies. And O blood group is without antigen and AB antibody. So of all this, the blood group without antibody, if it is said to be the, if it is asked, it is none other than the blood group without antibodies is AB. The blood group without antigens is O. Now let's move on to how this blood typing and the importance of the blood group transfusion now we'll see. So ABO blood group typing. How do you identify whether it is a A type, whether it is a B type, whether it is a AB type and whether it is a O type is now we'll see for this the anti serum containing anti serum anti serum containing antibody aa antibody a and the antibody b are taken into consideration now let's see what is the term serum serum is nothing but a fluid of the blood plasma without prothrombin and fibrinogen a serum is a part of the blood plasma without a prothrombin and a prothrombin and a fibrinogen so serum is equal to serum is equal to plasma minus blood clotting factors blood uh, clotting uh, factors which means what do you come to know a serum will do not undergo clotting it is uh, with uh, the antibody a and antibody b that's what serum right which is with the antibody a and the antibody b which is first collected i repeat the ABO blood grouping typing can done by means of ABO blood grouping uh, is done by means of uh, the following way. First, for suppose X sample you are testing. This is a X sample you are testing. You don't know what blood group is this. So, it is tested by an anti serum an anti serum with antibody a antibody a antibody a i repeat the blood typing blood group typing is done by means of following way i have taken uh, the what is called uh, the anti serum with antibody a i have taken when this anti serum with antibody A, when exposed to X sample, X sample that we don't know, if it clumps, if it clumps, or else if it is agglutinized, if it clumps, then when do the clumping takes place or agglutination? Similar antigen and similar antibody. So 
if it is a what getting clump if anti serum with the antibody a clumping with the x sample what do you mean by this you mean to say that uh, this x sample is with the antigen a antigen a is it right or not definitely similar antigen and antibody clump so anti serum with the antibody a when uh, clump with the sample unknown sample it does not undergo clotting until and unless it is with the antigen a so what do you mean by this it means uh, this blood grouping is either a or ab is it right or not yes a anti serum with the antibody a when exposed to when uh, tested with the sample xv that is unknown sample if it get clumps uh, clotted or agglutinize it uh, undergo clotting or agglutination until and unless it is with the antigen a and uh, when it is with the antigen a it clumps with the antibody a which means uh, this blood grouping uh, either a or ab this is how we come to know the typing of a blood group <clears throat> now if uh, anti serum is with the anti serum with antibody antibody b antibody b so how we have uh, detected a sample a or ab it is none other than when anti serum with the antibody a if clump with a sample a antibody clump with the a antigen only so if it clump it is none other than either a blood group or ab why a blood group is with the a antigen in its rbc and ab is also with the a so that's how we come to know the ab wo typing in which uh, the if uh, any sample if it is clumped with the anti serum with the antibody a it is none other than blood group a or ab next if anti serum with the antibody b then we don't know the sample so we i keep it as uh, the y sample we don't know if uh, the sample which is tested if a form clump with the anti serum with the antibody b it is none other than either it is nothing but the blood group uh, the tested sample is either with the b antigen it is nothing but b antigen similar antigen and antibody clump uh, so antibody b clump with the anti gen b so the y sample is with the b antigen hence this is none other than either b or ab it is either b or ab the anti serum with antibody if a clumps it is none other than the sample tested is either with the it is b or ab nothing but it is with the b antigen in the same way anti serum anti serum with the uh, both uh, antibody both antibody a and the uh, antibody b now the third sample we have taken which is for suppose z z sample it's not that i am giving a name for it if uh, anti serum with both antibody a and antibody if given to a sample if it get clumps uh, if it forms clumps clump it is nothing but uh, it will have both uh, antigen a and uh, antigen b it will have both uh, antigen a and uh, antigen b it is none other than ab blood group uh, it is nothing but uh, ab blood group is what uh, we came across in this connection so it is that the testing can be done by taking the antibodies uh, serum uh, in serum and expose it to the testing sample 
If it is clumped with the A antibody, nothing but the tested sample is with the antigen A, the same antigen. If it clumped with the A antigen, it is nothing but A blood group or AB. If a sample, if it clump with the antibody B, it is nothing but it is with the B antigen. It can be B or AB. And if it clump, that is the antiserum with the both A antibody and B antibody. If both antibody A and antibody B to which the blood group get clump or else the clot. It is none other than they are with the antigen A and the antigen B. So it is nothing but AB blood group. So what is the fourth option? Another the one and only option is uh, the fourth one. If uh, antiserum uh, with, uh, without uh, the what is called if uh, it is uh, with the uh, do not uh, clump uh, look at here if a blood group do not forms the clump neither with the a nor with the b and both that is uh, it does not clump uh, with the uh, antiserum containing antibody a and antibody b nothing but it doesn't have antigens okay it clumps when it has the antigen so it does not form clump with the uh, antibody a and antibody b it is none other than the o blood group what is the blood group that is without antigen o o is the blood group uh, without antigens uh, without uh, antigen uh, a and uh, b so this is how the blood grouping type can be done blood group typing based on what uh, the antibody exposed to the recipient a serum anti-serum with antibody a if you form a clump it is none other than it is with the a antigen so it is either a blood group or a b a sample of uh, what form clumps with the anti serum with both anti a, antibody a and antibody b it is none other than either b or a b if uh, a sample uh, with the uh, clump with the uh, antibody a and b it is none other than uh, the a b and if a uh, blood group uh, a sample if it does not form uh, the clump with both antibody a and the antibody B, it is nothing but it is not at all with the antigens. So, what is the blood group without uh, antigen? None other than the O. This is how we can find out uh, the typing of the blood group ABO typing. Next, uh, let's move on to the importance of uh, the blood uh, transfusion. Importance. <clears throat> importance of a uh, abo blood grouping system importance so in this connection what we learn is that is how the transmission of uh, this ABO character takes place and uh, how the whether it is a universal donor, universal acceptor. Basically, the donor antigen, antigen anti anti antibody, antigen and antibody what play vital role in uh, the ABO blood grouping system that is in which uh, the donor antigen recipient antibody recipient antibody are of uh, the taken into consideration the importance of AB 
blood abo blood grouping system uh, the donor antigen and uh, the recipient antibody are taken into consideration where the recipient uh, antigen and uh, the donor uh, antibody are of less importance recipient antigen and uh, the donor antibody are of uh, less importance now let's uh, see for suppose a is the blood group now we'll discuss uh, the what are the possibilities that is a is to be donated to what and a is to be received from what blood group is now the importance of abo blood grouping system so we have learned that a is a blood group is with the, the a antigen on its rbc is it right yes and it is with the, the b antibody in its blood plasma b antibody right and it is with the i a i a or also i a and the recessive i o or else recessive allele so this is a phenotype a with the a antigen on its rbc b antibody in its blood plasma genotype is this i a i a i a i o a is to donate to and donate to received from is now we'll see received from i repeat what i am saying is the a blood group is to be donated to to whom it can donate donate to next uh, received from is a what uh, taken into consideration donated to received from a for suppose a is a donated to a a is a donated to a donor is a donor will have a antigen and the recipient as against this uh, antigen produce the antibody so a when given to a as against the donor a antigen a recipient produce b antibody so a antigen as against that b antibodies are produced uh, so it can donate to a why no clumping first point next when a is given to ab for suppose a is a donor with antigen a and if it is given to b let's see all possibilities when given to a a in the recipient and will produce the b antibody so no problem when it is given to b when it is given to b b is the recipient b produce the antibodies what under antibodies it produce a antibody so antigen a is the donor antibody b is the antibody a is the donor antigen a is the donor whereas uh, the antibody a is the recipient producing uh, so which is a dangerous so it should not donate to the b why they are the different blood groups next to go to the c go and see the a b when a is a blood group which is donating uh, the blood which is with the antigen a and uh, the recipient is a b do the a b have antibodies no so it can donate to a b it can donate to a b so this is how a can donate to a and a b and uh, if it is donated to o o produces a antibody and b antibody so that is the danger so antigen a antibody a 
lead to clumping or else uh, the agglutination so that's the reason why it is donated to a and ab only